Hello there, welcome back. Now, <clears throat> following on from the teaser on a, the previous video, the present from Horace uh, Mike Drive Edition compilation, here I am presenting you with the review of Merry Christmas from Horace, Steve Broad's new game. It's a free download, it's for the ZX Spectrum. I will link to Steve's website in the description box below where you can play this game and download it. And you will enjoy it. It's a great little game. And um, I've said this before. It's wonderful that people um, still want to go out and create stuff um, for the Spectrum for others to enjoy. Now, the disclaimer on the front of the game when you first load it up is this is free. Okay, you should not be paying any money for this. Um, Steve has created this entirely for people to play in their uh, free of charge and... Uh, it, uh, no expense spared okay this has all been uh, a, a year-long project for him and I think you know we need to hats off to him for uh, for, for the dedication and efforts he's um, taken to uh, bring this to us now here we go this is Merry Christmas from Horace and the controls are very very simple left right and jump the aim of the game is that you have to um, assist Horace collected all the presents that have been spilled from Santa's um, sleigh I've missed uh, out on the opportunity to do the gag of uh, Santa's sack has exploded etc another youtubers beat me to that haven't you all of such right okay so um, you've got to um, go along the screens from left to right and you have got to assist Horace in um, collecting 10 of the um, errant wayward presents before you move on to the next sub component of the level as you can see um, Everything's very, very nicely designed, very, very um, well animated. The controls are really, really nice. And graphically, you can tell it's a Horace game. Um, obviously, it's got the, the character there, who's uh, it, one of the most instantly recognisable characters in uh, video game history. And it's also got nice nods back to the um, villains and baddies and enemies that appeared in the uh, remainder of the original series, the Horace, Hungry Horace, Horace Go Skiing, Horace and the Spiders, etc. Various uh, individuals uh, make a, an appearance in this game. Now, what I like about this game is that the baddies um, appear quite randomly um, and that you can't really learn their attack pattern. So the best way of playing it I've found to do is if you try and stay in the middle of the uh, train carriage in this first level, um, rather than staying too far across to the right or left because the baddies can come from either direction and then as the presents uh, make themselves uh, present upon the screen you can then sort of collect them now there's two ways i found that you can play this if you're a whore to the high score um, you can carry on um, bouncing on enemies heads etc um, to get them off the uh, the train you get turn points and you can kick, carry on working on your score until the uh, level timer runs down. And then you can uh, do your mad dash to collect all the presents. Or you can just go for the presents straight away and try and get uh, further onto the levels. Now, what um, good things there are about this game as well are obviously the scrolling works really well. Steve has um, a number of influences in this, games, which, uh, in this game which he's um, utilised and... Um, if you read the text files that come with the download when you download it from his website um, he um, is quite upfront about um, what his influences have been and, and what he's used um, you can see there is stop the express influence there's also clearly that the uh, the hungry horus uh, influence there is as well in the graphics on the top the um, scrolling sort of horizon mountain section from aquaplane by quicksilver um, like I say, Steve's um, upfront and totally honest about um, how he's uh, completed this project uh, over the past year. Now, it gets quite frantic as you go along. Um, like I say, there's um, a randomness to the sort of uh, the, the way that the sort of enemies appear. That means you can't really sort of plan game by game and learn attack patterns, etc. And when you start from having lost a life, um, you'll find that uh, for a couple of minutes, or sorry, for a couple of uh, nanoseconds you've got uh, a little sphere of invincibility around you now to aid you every now and then you'll have seen it the uh, iconic familiar bell there it goes will appear and if you manage to catch that which i um <laughs> don't manage to do uh, on that occasion 
then that will give you a random power up that could be extra points that could be a kind of smart bomb uh, which will clear the level for you and help you advance um, immediately despite not having collected 10 presents it could be an extra life and it could also be some baubles that you need to collect um, to uh, um, I can't actually remember what the baubles do but um, anyway so it gets progressively trickier and trickier there's the bell again and you can see it's activated that balloon which i've caught and it's given me invincibility there actually that's the other one um uh, that i meant to say and that um takes the pressure off you for a while now on this particular um level of the train you'll find this really really nice touch um i've got the ball balls activated there as well i'm trying to collect all of them and that advances me up to the next uh, up to the next level you you'll see that when uh, Horace walks along on top of the snowy train that um, really really nice uh, little touch there he loses his foot in and uh, skids along so you've got to take that into account as well so there's kind of an inertia sort of system in play there now will you enjoy the game yeah of course you will it's uh, it's simple it's straightforward it's addictive and it's it's not easy um, well it's not for me anyway there's 49 levels um, in the game in total I'm obviously not going to show you all 49 I'm just going to give you a feel for the game itself and you can make the decision whether or not you want to support Steve and download the game and um, give it a play now I'm sorry that I keep on harking on about this in oh look there's the high score table uh, yes I'm up there with a score of 9,000 behind real Lord such I really did get that score that's not made up at all um, uh, knows grows um but i've been uh, sort of going back to that uh, point i've been privileged to have um, been able to have assisted steve along with um phil lord such in some play testing of this game before he's um, confirmed it's uh, it, it's uh, download release from his um, website so it's, it's been nice to see the game um grow from its uh, initial initial very playable state to what you're seeing today and um, you know thanks steve for the opportunity to have um, helped out on that it's been a real privilege and a, and a pleasure now the point i was going to make before the high score table thing came up was i keep on saying this whenever i review homebrew games you know um we should when we we identify people that are, are still willing to keep our machine alive and you know dedicate their own time uh, and energies um into creating stuff for people in the modern age to play on their spectrums you know we should take our hats off to these people and we should support them because you know without them you know, it, it, they're, they're keeping the machine alive and they're giving us new things to play and you know it's a real real um a boom to the community really that people um, like steve and others um exist and are, are uh, willing and able to produce such quality software now as you can see i've got all the way to the the rooftop level there and i sort of cocked up um and i'm back to the start everything about this game is really sort of nice like as i said when you look at it you can see the stop the express sort of influence um you can see the aquaplane graphics in 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 the background um you can see how well animated the Horace character is, how how fluid the controls are. In a game like this, you need the controls to be sort of accurate and um, be comfortable that they're not going to mess you up. And that if you do cock something up, it's because you've cocked it up and not because the game's controls are, are broken or unfair in any other way, shape or form, which let's face it, on various games um, through the years, we, we, we saw on numerous occasions, you know. Um, but I think Steve's nailed it um, with this game. It's really, 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 really good fun. He is working on other projects. Um, I'm not going to say what they are. This is not my place to. Um, and I just hope that every single one of you that watches this video um, finds something in it that you like the look of and um, makes you want to go and download the game. This is his fifth Horace game. Um, he likes the fact that it's a very, very simple character. Um, there is uh, Real Lord Such has asked him a few questions and answers which um, will appear in uh, one of his articles so I'm not going to go into those because that would be treading on Rod's toes there so I'm not going to do that um, I'm just going to carry on waffling and rambling for a bit you can see um, 
from a present from Horace and also from uh, Merry Christmas from Horace that you know Steve is a talented coder um, he knows how to make a good game he knows how to make a tricky game I give him that and um, again we should all be grateful and I know it's still only November well it is when I've made this video by the time it's published it will be uh, hopefully it will be December uh, um, so it's not quite Christmas but you know why not treat yourself it's not going to cost you anything um, he's not doing this for money or profit he's doing it for the love of the character for the love of game playing for the love of game design and he's doing it to help us that's you me and everybody that's got an interest in the uh, a continued interest in the zx spectrum so please if you are able to um give him a few words of support if you like the game um encourage him and others to continue uh, making games for this wonderful 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 machine that amazingly hits 35 years old in uh, april i think it is so let's you know let's just rejoice and um enjoy the games five hungry horace games uh, now by by steve they're all great games um they're all tricky um very well designed i think we're lucky to have uh, people like that um still wanting to represent uh, the community still wanting to keep the machine alive i'm going to let the rest of the video um play out after i've given a quick um summary of the game it is um very very simple in design you can see what you need to do and you can work out what you need to do very very quickly um but the randomness um of the enemy uh, sorry enemies the sort of well yeah they are enemies the randomness of the enemies um patterns uh, makes for a challenging game and as you can see things get trickier and trickier and that's a good thing okay it's never so tricky that you just think oh for god's sake and every now and then something new will appear somewhere completely randomly that you haven't seen before um snowballs etc candy canes i've seen snowmen reindeer um so <laughs> you know there's always something that keeps your uh, keep, keeps your eyes on the screen so well done steve should you download this game um yes you should is it a very good game it's a very good game is it better than anything i can do of course it is um it's worth checking out like i've said before gonna cost you nothing and um for that again we should be grateful so there we go this video is now going to play out i'm going to stop rambling a minute after i last said i was going to stop rambling but this time i really am going to thank you ever so much for um, watching the video if you like it please let me know if you wish to subscribe to the channel please feel free to do so and i'll see you at the next video okay take care and goodbye